from days of long ago. From uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe. Until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of Space Explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. An octavore you dredged up from some nasty asteroid belt. Then, when Voltron fired his Stingray missiles, you tried to stop him with a few slimy tentacles. Did you really think that could hold him? And Cyclops snakes? They're no match for a lion head attack. Finally, his despicable blazing sword. I tell you, Voltron is a menace. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, old witch? It was your idea. You made me look like a fool. That's not hard. What? Face it, Zarkon. We both know why we've been losing to the Voltron Force. Lazar. <sighs> we used to have plenty. Until Voltron destroyed our Lazon base on satellite Nuclear. What are you driving at, Hagar? You sound curious. Don't play games, old woman, or you'll regret it. This is no game, I assure you. Without Lazon, our rubies are weak, but I found a new source. Where? My scout ships have scoured this galaxy from top to bottom. <laughs> yes, and they flew right by this planet and never knew it was full of Lazon. We must mine it and process it so it is highly radioactive. Then we will build the mightiest robeasts the world has never seen. Our dear friend Voltron will never know what hit him. <laughs> Who's there? Uh, it is me, sire. Kasa, sneaking around again, eavesdropping on our conversation. No, sire. Don't contradict me, or I'll send you back to the toad pond you crawled out of. Now why don't you make yourself useful and help Hagar get me some Lazon? If you wish, sire. What do you mean, if I wish? I just told you that's what I wish. Now go! All right, get those slaves moving! Hold it right there. You're not a soldier anymore, Joran. You're just a common slave. Since you lost your stomach for fighting... <laughs> he deserves it. Yeah, I used to be one of them. A warrior. Now look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Lotor, what are you doing here? I came to take over. What else? But, 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 but your father put me in charge, Prince Lotor. We're building a new Lazon base, and I'm the Commander-in-Chief. You were the Commander-in-Chief, understand? But... Or would you rather settle this with a duel? No, Prince Lotor. You're absolutely right about this. I know that. Incidentally, I heard that you were born in a toad pond. Is that true? Toad pond. He ruins everything. Attention! This is Prince Lotor! I've taken command of the expedition! <laughs> 
Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Look at him! How could you do it, Joran? They conquered your planet just like they conquered ours. But your leaders decided to join the enemy, and you fought on their side. I was a soldier. I followed orders and did what I was told. No! You were more than a soldier! They made you captain! Why? Because you were such a great warrior! For Zarkon! How can you live with yourself? <laughs> There's something out there. Just a spot on my scanner. I'm gonna bring it in closer. Hey, Lance, you sure you didn't put on one of your video games by mistake? Wait a minute. I see it. It's one of those slave ships from Planet Doom. You ever notice how ugly those things are? Sure, they're number one on the Space Ugly Hit Parade. Gee, I thought they were kind of cute. Yeah, cute like a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes are nice compared to the guys who run those things. Let's follow them. Koran, we're about to burst up here. Oh no, Princess. Bail out while there's still time. Use the escape pod. I didn't mean burst apart. I meant bursting with excitement. We spotted some ships. Oh, you had me worried. <laughs> According to my sensors, those slave ships landed on planet Zal. It's a desert planet, located in the Azure Quadrant. There hasn't been any life there for a millennium. Some of the early space explorers claimed there was a secret race of people still living there, underneath the surface of the planet. And I'm sure that's just a legend. Problem? Take it up with the Board of Directors. We are the Board of Directors, <gasps> and the problem is you! You're a traitor, and we're gonna give you a taste of your own medicine. So I made a mistake, but you're making a bigger one. Save your breath! <laughs> 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 Chance, it's too far. We must find him. Hurry, use the searchlight. Did you see something? That was nothing. Just some kind of rock. after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Where's Planet Zal? I'm getting a strange signal. Are you? Yeah. It looks like an approach coordinate. They want us to land at a special place. Who does? does? I don't know, but I'm sure gonna find out. Who built all this? 
The Darians, they were an advanced race who lived here many eons ago, then vanished suddenly. No one knows why, but we've rebuilt their city. Underground? Yes, deep underground. But why? You're stuck way down here, away from everything. What's the point? The point is to survive. My people had nowhere else to go. We needed a place that was safe from Zarkon. Zarkon? But he's building a base here. Yes, we know. And we intend to stop him. No one stops Zarkon. We must. He destroyed my world once before. I won't let him do it again. What happened? They used Scorch Rays. The oh. attack was terrible. We had to run for our lives. It was Prince Lotor's first command. He was still only a boy, but he was already as ruthless as Zarkon himself. Some of us managed to escape, but I had to leave my family behind. We dedicated this city to them. Uh, it's all so unfair. I lost my family too. Sorry. Omnia, we contacted an Alliance patrol unit, and guess who it turned out to be? It's the Voltron Force! Ah. Don't trust them. Tell them that our people welcome them. I'll make them feel like old friends. <gasps> Where are you going? Away. You don't need me. I'm no good to anyone. That's not true, Joran. You're not alone. We've all had bad things happen to us. But now we have a chance to make our lives count for something. They're flashing at us, telling us where to land. Look at that! I'm looking, but I still don't know what it is. I'd say it's some kind of invitation. Gee, I'm surprised they didn't send us little cards with our names on them. Yeah, I mean, are we supposed to bring presents or what? Greetings. I've always heard about you. The Voltron Force. Now I've really met you. It's incredible. Thank you. This is pretty special for us, too. We always thought the stories about this underground world were just a legend. Which would make her a dream. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again! Well, we're very real, and we have very real problems. Can we help? I hope so. Lotor is building a base on the surface of the planet. Tell him about the slave. Yes, we have a slave who escaped from their camp. I escaped from them, but not myself. <gasps> what do you mean by that? Nothing. I, I don't mean anything at all. What kind of base is it? Lazon, what else? I can't believe it. That stuff's radioactive. It'll ruin this planet. Those guys are mega jerks. Then they found Lazon inside the planet. We gotta get rid of them. I say we blast them now and blast them hard. How? With the lions. No, that would tip our hand. Then everyone would be in danger, especially these people. We've got to do this job from the inside. Right. We have to sneak up on them quiet-like till we're right there. Where? Inside. Inside, outside. Let's get moving. Calm down, Lance. We're all going to have to keep cool heads and stay together if we're going to make this mission work. And we're going to need the help of you and your people, Omnia. You can count on us, Keith. We've built a new world here, and we don't want to lose it. You're a very courageous woman. And pretty, too. There's only one more thing we need to do this job. Inside information! Not from me. Why not? Because it wouldn't do any good. Everything I touch turns bad. No, you don't want me along. But we do. You would be very helpful to us. I'm asking you personally. You don't know who I am. I'm a traitor. <gasps> That's right. I was a soldier. Zarkon. That's in the past. It's old news. People can change, you know. And that's what we're giving you, a chance to change. You're the only one that knows that base from the inside. And you can help the other slaves to get away. They never follow me, never. They despise me for what I was. Listen. Oh, you listen. I've been through it all and I've had enough of it. Enough of the senseless wars that drive people from their homes and families. Enough of greedy leaders who want more and more of what they already have too much of. Yes, I fought for Zarkon. 
And so I fought, and fought well. I saw things I hoped that no man may ever see again. I saw a robot ripping a slave. Suddenly I just couldn't stand by and watch. Trying to help a slave, my punishment was to become a slave. As a young man, I was full of life and imagination and ideas. Now I know it's all just an illusion. And you all, you think your mission is so very important. To me, it means nothing. I really don't care if you win or lose. Uh. Amnia? <gasps> don't move, Joran. No, don't! Go ahead. What's the difference, anyway? Amnia! After these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Oh, you saved him. <gasps> Why did you do that? Why? Because I care about you, even if you don't care about yourself. Like you, I've seen much evil, Joran, but I still want to live. Let him go. Castor is right. You're a free man. Go where you will, and may your journey be a safe one. Though we've only known each other for a short time, I'll miss you, Joran. Farewell. No! I want to stay here and help you, if you'll let me. You're on! All right! <sighs> now we've got our team. What do you say? Yeah! we have to get from here to here. Mm. That's the nerve center. Yes, Keith, but it's heavily guarded. Not heavily enough. You caught me first! We caught you last! You gotta get out of here! What are you doing here? This place is gonna blow sky high! You gotta go! Don't listen to him. He's a traitor. He was one of Sarkhan's men. That's right! Don't be fools! Your lives are at stake! Let's go! Why did you come to warn us? Yeah, you could have saved yourself. I did it because I had to. Because someone did something nice for me. I don't believe you, liar! Hey, Keith, 
Time to form Voltron! Smart, watch! All right, let's do it! Activate interlock! Dynatherms connected! Infracells up! Mega thrusters are go! Let's, let's go! go. Voltron, Voltron Force! force. And I'll form the head! stood outside and watched the sunrise for the first time in many years. Thanks to a special friend who'd learned something about when to follow orders and when to follow his own heart. Yes, people can change. Sometimes they just need a little help. From Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Problems in the Danubian galaxy. King Zarkon continues to attack planet Aris, and Voltron is hard pressed to defend. Princess Allura of Aris has called an emergency meeting of all leaders of that galaxy, Commander. They hope to coordinate their defenses. I hope they can do it. We have our hands full in this galaxy. Zarkon is an outlaw of the Drool Empire. He's outside their jurisdiction and operates pretty much on his own. Maybe we ought to send a support fleet out to planet Eris. No, they've managed to hold Zarkon in check so far with the help of Voltron. Let's see what happens if the whole galaxy can unite against that villain. Her Highness Princess Allura of Eris presides as I, her chief minister, stand in attendance. Welcome. I'm Remo of Taurus. Milan of Titus. I'm sorry to have been late. Friends, greetings from my planet. Welcome, sir. I wish to introduce first Her Royal Highness, Princess Allura, who has invited you here. Prince Bandor of Planet Pollux. Abi Turhan of Yadel. Captain Keith, Voltron Force. Remo, whose planet is in dire trouble. Talor, who came despite illness. And of course, Mylon of Titus. You men are here because, like our highness, you recognize a threat to the stability of the Danubian galaxy. We are being attacked by the enemy of peace, the planet Doom, Zarkon's bastion of evil. He has set upon a policy to divide and conquer. 
Princess Allura asks you to join in resisting Zarkon. We mustn't yield meekly to his demands. My people agree with you, Princess! It means war. No, I don't think so. Gentlemen, please. Zarkon is a coward. He fears a united front. Would Mr. Tirhan agree? I would. The people of my planet would not be gasping for breath if we had shown a little resistance at once. It's freedom or slavery. Exactly. And the preservation of Voltron is the key to our freedom. With your support then, Eris and the team of Voltron will move at once to counter Zarkon's ambitions. Meanwhile, gentlemen, hope for the best. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. The villagers are sleeping quietly. They feel secure with Voltron standing guard. Well, they should. I don't feel that secure. I know. With all the leaders meeting here in one place, it's a great temptation for Zarkon to strike a massive blow. Why don't we hit him first? We're a defense force. We can't resort to aggression. We'll maintain a round-the-clock vigil until he makes a move, and then we'll counter. That's the best we can do. <coughs> my greatest concern is for the princess. I promised her father I'd protect her with my life. It's coming to that. She insists upon being a member of the Voltron Force. I ought to take her place. No way, Chief! We need you here in control. You can interpret what's going on out there better than anybody else in the palace. And you've still got a cold. We can train a substitute. Right, it shouldn't take long. And Allura will understand that being princess is a lot more important. You won't see him when he attacks, Keith. He's too clever. It frightens me that he might have devised a means of destroying Voltron. It's possible. We can deal with the known, but Zarkon is aided by the twisted wisdom of that witch Hagar, and her devices are unknown. To lose Voltron is to lose more than the defender of the universe. It's to lose freedom, hope, friends. Has it occurred to you what life would be for Allura if she fell into Lotor's hands? You know, I could create a reason for her having to leave Eris. She'd see through it. We have to count on vigilance. The minute we detect Zarkon's course of action, we'll move with the total might of Voltron. He'll run, and don't worry about Allura. You're more concerned about her than I am, right? Mm-hmm. All rise for Marshal Tizor, Supreme Commander of the Dual Empire. Decision from you. You all know of King Zarkon and the Danubian galaxy. It's true he sends us very little gold from the planets he pirates, but he never asks for anything either. Now he's made a request. As you know, he has kept one unit of the Voltron Force occupied on planet Aris for some time, thus relieving us a little here. And now he's requested us to send support troops for an all-out assault on his galaxy. What's your answer? Sarkon has never tried to find new worlds for the people of our overcrowded galaxy. He finds a new planet and turns it into a slave base. I say, let him train his slaves to fight for him. I've asked the Supreme Council of the Druul Empire to send support troops, but with or without them, now is the time to strike planet Eris and all the galaxy leaders meeting there. Now, watch us ruin that grand meeting on planet Eris. I hope this demonstration is enough. I'd rather Aris surrender than force us to destroy Voltron. He could be of value to the Empire. You're worrying about that princess as usual. Ah. I hope our little show today will stop her from resisting me any longer. 
A great celebration is planned in the pavilion near the castle. I sent word that the ambassador from planet Oleon will arrive during the celebration, but I lied. Hagar created a mock ship with robot lookalikes of the ambassador and his crew. At this very moment, my robot agents are preparing to disintegrate what the people of Eris believe to be an ambassador of Oleon and his ship. They'll soon heed my every command. This is the first warning to the Alliance meeting. How easily my agents infiltrated. A command tank in the public pavilion. It will be the same with Voltron. I expect an immediate victory. Aris may not give in. Before you sabotage Voltron, I would like to go and negotiate with Princess Allura myself. You? You have the appeal of a salamander. Your biggest handicap is that the princess is bright. You haven't got a chance. No, I'm in a hurry. Let him have a chance at it, Your Majesty. Our plans are in motion. He can't stop them. You don't know Lotor. Voltron will be sabotaged. We'll launch a rope beast to demolish Eris' control, the palace, the heart of the Alliance. So what if Lotor attempts a final conquest? Well, maybe. I was young once myself. I thank my evil star I never was. <laughs> In view of what happened at the public pavilion, Princess orders us to search out and challenge the forces of Zarkon. We haven't much to go on, but we'll try. A blind search of space doesn't sound real promising. We won't find anything by just sitting here. I suppose. At least we're doing something. Yes, obeying orders. Let's go. Allura, wait! Yes? I know you're upset about the Ambassador, but the people depend on you. In view of Zarkon's direct threat to Voltron, is this wise? I mean, think! You have a larger responsibility to the people. They don't want you risking your life. So is being a part of Voltron all that important? Only the most important thing in the universe to me. Do you want me? We want you, and we need you. And you can start by continuing your training in the main Black Lion. After all, you may have to fill in for me someday. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Okay, team, the princess may have to fly the Black Lion in combat someday. Let's give her all the support we can. Black Lion to crew. Formation launch. Black Lion to command. My controls are inoperative. Repeat, controls not working. Try manual override, Black Lion, override! I read, but control systems have been shorted out. They were just inspected. Black Lion has been sabotaged. I have no control. <laughs> Forward thrust and dynatherms are working. <gasps> oh. There's a fire risk! You've got to move! Punch forward! But something's wrong. Princess!
It was a dream. Someone brought me home. Alora. <gasps> Father, I see you. My dear daughter, the bad dream was my warning. Lotor comes. Flee the castle. Survive for the sake of Eros. Run, young child. Run. Don't go. Run, yes. Get out of here. Allura! She should be resting. Where's she going in the middle of the night? Get away! Before Lotor comes, keep running! We're alone. It's your spirit I admire the most. I'll make you my queen. Come with me and your people will be free. Enjoy the riches of the universe and power beyond imagination. Now, my princess, isn't that better than washing dishes in the kitchen of an enslaved planet? <gasps> you beast! If you wish to serve your people, then give them their freedom by coming with me. This is my last friendly appeal, Princess. You may not believe it, but I can be ugly. Do you accept my offer? I'll never surrender my people or myself to you. Drop the gun, gently. Let her go! Huh. Release her! You're a fool. Run! Alert the team! I could have destroyed Voltron. Now I'll do it! Hurry, Princess! I'll hold him off while you get away. Come with me. He may have other forces nearby. Watch for his laser sword. I'll do what I can. Go! Out of the way, Princess, now! Voltron is doomed! Get help right away. Princess, get ready. Lotor will strike again. First, we have to get you to safety. You had him at sword tip and walked away? I thought palace guards might be coming. No matter. Now is the time to strike the final blow. Voltron's captain lies defenseless. He returns in failure, then has the nerve to offer me friendly advice. Launch your robe beast at once and let's hope he has better luck. The doctor says it's mainly laser shock. That's like saying it's only an earthquake. Hey, what's that? It looks like Lotor's back. And he's brought something horrible to do his fighting this time. Larkon is attacking! What can we do without Voltron? Koran must decide. Robeast, too powerful for our weapons. I'll fly! Yeah, and I'll go with him. That makes three of us. Three lions don't make Voltron, but they're not too bad. Such gallantry could amount to self-destruction. We should retreat inland. That's throwing in. Besides, we can't leave Keith. 
Princess, wait! Black Lion can do it alone. I know Black Lion can do it. She's down. Save her. Koran! Tower controls are destroyed. We can't get help. All the help you need is right here, Prince. Ready? Let me go, please. It's my duty after what Sarkon did to my planet. Your duty is to stay alive, Vandor. Voltron's back in action. Are we set? Set to go, Keith. As a prince, I demand the right to go! You're Prince of Pollux, Bandor, but you're not Captain of Voltron. We rescue Black Lion first, then Interlock. Snap out of it, Lance. Wait for me! Out of my way, hunk! Uh. The lions! This is Keith. Heads up, Black Lion. Team ready to form. Do you read? Loud and clear. It's set. All we need is you. Coming over at 12 high. I see. Black Lion, now launching. Let's go, Voltron Force! <laughs> And I'll form the head this time! Fire spinning laser blade! Stingray missile! Launch electro force cross! That guy's shot through! He's throwing everything we've got back at us. He's protected by some magnetic shield. I felt that punch down here. He fights like a wrestler. That thing fights dirty. We gotta get it together or we're finished. Lock. Computer control. Uh, the head. Yes, it's small head. The neutron needles. Form blazing sword. Hit the dirt, team. Get the ship out of here fast. Luck. It's all pure luck, and I don't get any. United we stand, and that's the way our galaxy will continue. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. We're happy the Alliance remains intact. And proud to guarantee you our continued protection. We shall continue the Alliance for the good of all our people. That day, a brave new interplanetary alliance was formed, thanks to Voltron, defender of the universe.